Hello and welcome to this new EasyRed2 modding SDK tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create custom factions for EasyRed2. So to begin, let's create a folder where we're going to create our custom faction, for example, here. And then right click and choose easier to mods faction. As you can see, these objects have been created and this is going to be the faction data for the faction we are going to create. We can rename this with the name of the faction we want to assign, for example, custom faction. And here we've got a bunch of data that we can assign to it. So let's take a look to the Andem. This is the song that is played at the end of a battle if the faction wins. Here you have to put the name of the Andem that you added on your folders. The template is assigning Andem US example, which is a song that is already in the SDK. Notice that the song needs to be less than 30 seconds, otherwise the faction won't be included in the mod. Next you got the flag for your faction, here we got this template flag, but of course you can assign your own. Just remember to set the flag to sprite, otherwise you won't be able to assign it to the faction data. Next you got your voice ID array, here you will have the list of the name of all of your voice setting set objects which are some objects that contains all of your voices for a single voice actor. So to create one of these set, you have to right click on your custom faction and choose easier to mods, faction, new voice acting data. As you can see, a new voice acting have been added to the ID list and here the instance added to the hierarchy that we are going to compile in a second. Notice that this voice acting refers to the acting of one single actor, so all of these voices should be said from the same actor. Also notice that for making the mod work on the game, at the moment of the recording of this tutorial, you will have to assign every single of this parameter with at least one voice. Also in particular, the number voice will need to have exactly 10 voices, which are all the numbers that ranges from 0 to 9, as this is the number voices used during the radio calls. So while normally voices can have multiple values as they are variation of the same voice, in this case of the numbers you can't have variation and you only will have all the numbers from 0 to 9. For every other kind of voice which can have variation instead, I suggest to add something like two or three voices, because having too many variation can have performance impact, especially on the memory usage. For the test we are gonna show in a second, we are gonna use a voice acting set, which uses some alien voices that are included in the modding SDK. Yes. Or when you are done adding all of your voices, make sure of course to save them as prefab in some folder. Next we got the ranks, which is an array of exactly 12 elements of all the ranks you want in the game. So they need to be ordered in a hierarchy order, so the first rank is the lower and the last rank is the higher. In this example, as you can see, we stop with the first sergeant, so all the last ranks are all first sergeant, but you can add all the ranks up to whatever rank you want. And as you can see, in the example folder, we got all these ranks, which again are set as sprites. Next, you have the rank coordinates and the patch coordinates, which are the coordinates on the shoulder of the ranks displayed on the uniforms of the soldier using this specific faction. Normally the standard values are fine, 
but you might want to adjust the position of the ranks on the shoulder, changing these values a bit. If you don't want your ranks or your pets to be displayed at all on the uniforms weared by this faction, you can set all this value to zero or all this value to zero. Next, you got the name and the surname that your soldiers can take. So here are two lists, one for the names and one for the surnames. Basically, when a soldier will spawn with this faction, it will take a random name between this array and a random surname between this array. Next, you got a list of the face model and air model that your soldier can spawn with. So your soldier will take a random face model from this array and a random air model from this array. You can't create your own face and hair models yet, but once that is gonna be possible, we're gonna make a tutorial for that. For the moment, you can use face and hair models that you're gonna see in the string table documentation. So once this is done, you set up your faction correctly and you can now assign your faction to a mod. For example, I'm gonna assign this to test faction. And then you can go to the mod menu, mod compiler, choose your mod, give it a name. And then you can upload it clicking on build. Then you will have to subscribe to it on the Steam Workshop to be able to use it on a custom mission. So now we are in the game, in the mission editor, and we are creating a custom mission. So to spawn our faction, we need to add a unit spawner, and we need to choose it faction. So we can go in the name of our mod and choose the faction we created. We can either make it to be allies or axis. As you can see, it has the flag we created in the SDK menu. And now if we start the battle. We can spawn with our faction. As you can hear, it's quite hilarious. Our faction is using the alien voice acting we created for it. And everything is working correctly. So, congratulations for creating your custom faction.